We took a tour of Zanker Recycling in San Jose to see just why construction debris can be such a big environmental problem. Directly behind us, this is what demolition material looks like. Probably be a little bit of plastic, a lot more carpet. Uh, things that we can't necessarily recycle on the back end other than wood, aggregated metals. I mean, we've seen everything from bathtub sinks, uh, you name it, all the way to porcelain. By July 1st, 2020, construction sites will have to play by a different set of rules. Along with a sweeping plastics ban, as part of its zero waste initiative, Palo Alto City Council will now require crews to deconstruct rather than demolish sites. You can't just smash it and uh, combine everything because then it's harder to either recycle it or salvage it. Deconstruction is kind of more of a manicured step in which you're actually going into a project and you're taking out certain pieces with much care and much handle. City Council estimates it will affect dozens of projects in Palo Alto next year. At Zanker Recycling, they welcome the change, but they're also realistic about the barriers to adoption. Deconstruction is more labor intensive and therefore more expensive great move for most people that are doing it but unfortunately i think it's still a long ways out for, for being perfected we're not going to hold up the permit process for this there'll be a learning curve on it in palo alto chris reyes for abc7 news